Hello and welcome to another one of my tutorials. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to download and install fonts. Um, first thing you want to do is go to somewhere where you can find fonts. Whether it's my blog. I will be adding some more in there soon. Or somewhere like fontcubes.com or anywhere else you may find fonts. Um, I already downloaded this one, so I'm not going to re-download it. Let me see what they have. Hmm. Let's see if we can find a nice font really fast. Um, I already have that one. I have that, I have that. Let's get this one. Looks kind of interesting. I don't think there's anything else that I'd like. No. Okay. Um, so I'm going to click here, download. This little thing will pop up. Click on download. Then you're going to get the save to whatever thing. I'm saving mine to my downloads folder like I do with everything. If you have Firefox, you're going to get this um, little window. I right click and open container folder. And here it shows you where your folder is. Right click and extract all. Browse. I extract to my desktop. Extract. Okay, once you have that open, you can close everything out. Okay. Um, you don't need this either. As you can see, here is our font. Um, the easiest way to install it, you just right click and click install. You're going to get a window that says um, Windows needs your permission to continue. Um, press continue and it'll install it automatically. Um, the other way you can do it, well after after you install, do you do the right click install? This is going to stay here even though it's installed. You can just throw that away into your recycle bin. The other way to do it is to um, go to start menu, control panel, and then go to appearance and personalization and go down to where it says fonts. Go to install or remove a font. And then this window will open where all your fonts are. All you can do is just drag the file and drop it in there. You're going to get a window that says Windows needs your permission to continue. Press continue. Um, and if you search, it's not going to be in here yet. It's already installed, but it's not going to be in here. You have to close the font window. And you can reopen it. Go back to control panel, appearance and personalization, install or remove fonts. And once you search, it was called, uh, here it is. It was called Lane something, Lane Humoresque. And here is our font. Okay. Now you can just go into your PSP or Photoshop or whatever. And you can choose it. Let's do this L. Okay, here we go. And you can apply it. And here's our font ready to use. And that's how you install a font. Now, if you have a lot of fonts like me, which you may not be able to tell, but I keep them all in a CD here. And I'm always adding to this list. All these folders contain fonts. This one contains 740 alone. So imagine how many fonts I actually have. <laughs> I have a lot of them. Do I use them all? No, I don't. Will I get rid of any of these? No, I won't. <laughs> I am a fontaholic and I admit it. <laughs> um, the problem with having so many fonts is if you install them all, your computer will be very, very slow and that is very very bad so what do we do we get something like font expert which is buggy right now because it's reading from my CD drive and sometimes that can be really slow but it's better than my computer being slow so 
um, what it does is you can pick your file or in this case your CD-ROM or whatever like I have here and when you click on one of your folders your font folders it shows your preview of every font you have in that folder which is pretty awesome if you ask me so that you don't have to go around um, double clicking and opening every font folder to see what you have or in a case where you are using something like Word or, or anything really you can just look at the font, install it, you see the name and you already know where it is um, for the font expert 2007 you do have to pay this was I think I think it's like fifty dollars um, there's a lot of ways to get it for free so you can always search that on YouTube or go to first share they usually have a lot of softwares or or key generators and stuff so you can get things for free and um, pretty much if you have visa this is the best one you can get it's really easy if I want to activate a font all I have to do is just you know click here and be like okay let me see all the pixel fonts and it's gonna show me all my pixel fonts right Cause this folder that I have it in let's say I think oh this looks cool let me use it instead of having to install it I can go here to activate these fonts I click it and you see how it has the name's gonna get highlighted it's already activated which means if I go here to Corel to paint shop I can go and search for, I think it was Hoogie, and there it goes, I can use it, and blah blah blah, there's my font. Um, when I'm done using it, I can either just close Font Expert, or if I'm going to use another font and I just want to uninstall that one or deactivate it, I can just go here to uninstall or deactivate these fonts, bam, it's gone, and that's pretty much it. If you have um, Windows XP, um, 2000, ME, NT, whatever other Windows there is, there is a free alternative to Font Expert, which would be um, the font thing, which you can go to download.com. You can go to download.com and search the font thing. And it'll pop up. It's called the font thing 0.8. Or you can just go to Google and Google it, the font thing. There's plenty of places where you can get it. Um, this is just like Font Expert 2000. It's just simpler, it's free, and it works if you have Windows XP or lower. Unlike if you have Vista, this doesn't work, which is the only thing that sucks about it. Um, they don't have like any pictures or anything, but it's really easy to use once you open it. It's just pretty much the same thing. You can just um, it has like a little window here where it shows you where you open your folders, and then it shows you your preview and activate everything. It has the same thing. This one's just more advanced and more expensive, given that this one's free. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. I will provide the links to um, the font that I downloaded in case you want it, um, to the font thing, and I think that's all you need. Don't remember, but yeah, if you have any questions, just let me know. I'm here to help. Have a good one.